I don't think it makes sense to write Python code anymore. Really? Why not? In this age of ChatGPT and Claude, I can just tell it to churn out working Rust code. And I get code that is 10 times faster than the Python. So why have it do Python code in the first place? There's a lot more code out there for Python. These AIs can pull from lots of examples, lots of different libraries with Python. I mean, Rust is growing, but it's a much smaller user base and a lot less examples. Be able to pull from these examples and iterate faster, where sometimes you can get hung up with some of the, the challenges of writing in Rust. Have you seen Claude have problems with the borrow checker in Rust? It depends whether you're doing something that somebody else has already done. So in the past, I would write stuff in Python first for Speedify. I totally changed it over and over until I got it right, and then I turned it over to you guys. We looked at it for inspiration, but Speedify is not written in Python, so we threw away a lot of that code and implemented it in other languages. I've been working on another feature for Speedify, and I won't say what it is, but I prototyped it in Python. I asked Claude, could you rewrite this in Rust? And it did. And then it had three or four bugs. But as I found the bugs, I told Claude what they were, and boop, 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 boop. Now I have this like working Rust thing, which I haven't shown you the code for yet, so perhaps you'll, you'll be horrified when you <laughs> see it, but it looks good to me. It seems like something we could really use and put in Speedify. Claude has really gotten better, or do you think you've gotten better at prompting and using the tools? I think Claude has gotten much better. I tell it, now we're going to work on Speedify's graph, analyze that code before we start. And it runs through the code and writes a few paragraphs. You haven't tried it for a year and you think it's junk. It's time to try again. It, it's a whole new tool. In conclusion, I want you to subscribe. Subscribe.